Bringing into the conversation Ofek, who is a research assistant with the Institute for National Security Studies. First of all, does the IDF, does the Israeli government truly believe this is all spillover? I mean, it's been years of fighting with only occasional interspersed spillover effect, and now it's three straight days of mortars or, or machine gun fire. Is, it, is that too coincidental for day after day after day? It's not coincidental, but we need to look at the broader context and of why is this happening now. We need to understand this is part of a bigger campaign of Assad to try and retake, regain control over the whole of southern Syria. I mean, since the victory in Aleppo in December 2016, we have assessed that Assad will now try to retake uh, southern Syria, which is, uh, most of it is controlled by, by the rebels. And, and the past uh, month, we've seen a uh, massive campaign, massive bombardments of Dara in the south of, uh, of the Golan, the south of Syria. So is this trying to go Syria, and Israelis this is, into a response? Is he trying to go to conflict here? I don't think he is. Perhaps the question is whether the rebels are trying to drag us in, and this is why Israeli policy is, is, uh, is a matter of, uh, of an urgent need right now. Because uh, like we heard Netanyahu speaking of uh, Israeli retaliation, this is, well, this is kind of policy, but we need a broader policy that will deal with the question whether we want how, how to further distance Iranian militias and Hezbollah from, the, from our borders. Shai Ofek, thank you so much for your reporting on this very important story that we will stay on top of and still to come. More news in Syria, more violence as ISIS-controlled Raqqa is under attack and anti-ISIS fighters celebrate a big victory.